Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the app SAT Vocab by Mind Snacks. This app is designed to help students study vocabulary that appears on the SAT, the PSAT, and the GRE. It replaces traditional flashcards with games, so it's an excellent tool for gamification in the classroom, and it's just a fun way to study vocab. Mind Snacks also offers all of these other apps. These ones help you learn vocabulary for other languages, like Spanish, French, or Chinese. They also have a kids vocabulary app, which kind of got cut off in this screenshot, but Mind Snacks can be useful for elementary teachers as well. So let's jump into the app. When you first open it, this is the page you'll see. Here you can see what games you've unlocked, your name, your level, how many words you've mastered, and how many lessons you've finished. You unlock games as you go. So as you can see, I have a long ways to go, but I have unlocked Totem, so when you first get into it, you will not have this game. The first thing I recommend doing once you get into the app is clicking on this symbol in the top right corner. This takes you to the words you'll need to know for the lesson. Once you've clicked on that icon, which has now moved to the top left corner, you can see all the words in your current lesson. Right now, I'm on lesson one, and my first word is abstruse. Here you can see the word, the part of speech, the definition, an antonym, and an example sentence. You can also hear the word spoken, and you'll learn to associate this picture with the word. This blue bar underneath the word abstruse means that I've mastered this word. All that means is that I've gotten this answer correct enough times in the game that the app considers me to have a mastery of what that word means. If you want to sort the words in your lessons by which ones you have mastered and which ones you haven't, you can click up here. And lastly on this page, if you have other lessons and you'd like to skip around in them, you can click this list icon to see the rest of them. Let's get back to the games. This game is called Swell. It's the first one that you have when you get into the app. What you do here is you match this word with its synonym, which in this case for expansive would be extensive. You have to do this before the water, which is slowly running out, gets to the bottom. This game works with quick recall, which is really important for time tests like the ACT and SAT. The water runs out faster in each round, and you have three lives to spend before you lose the game. If you need to pause or go back to the main menu for any reason, you can do that up here. Once you've used your three lives or finished the game, the app brings you to this page. Here you can see all the words you worked on in that game, and it shows you your progress. So, fortuitous, compunction, these move forward, but this is where I got my mastery of the word abstruse. You can see what skills you've developed, and you get to watch this little animation every time you level up. You can choose to play that same game again. In the menu button, you can go back to the other games or to the lesson to review the words. You can have it give you a random game, or you can look at your scorecard. This is an easy way to keep track of students' progress, and since it shows them when they move forward on each word, it's very helpful for students that need that type of motivation. Let's take a quick look at the other two games you can unlock in the first lesson. This game is called Pounce. It's basically just a fill-in-the-blank game where you have to click the correct word as the cats pop up all around the screen. It's a cute animation and the time limit makes it challenging, so I anticipate that this one would be a student favorite. Again, you can pause the game or go back to the main menu up here. The last game you can unlock in the first lesson is called Totem. In this game, you swipe these cubes to match the word with the definition, with the image, and the antonym. Once you do, they light up green. Once you've completed three sides of each totem, you move on to the next spirit. This game has a time limit too, and it's the only one, so far at least, that works with antonyms. There is a wide variety of skills, even in the first three games. That's part of what I think makes this app so valuable to students looking to study for the SAT. 
Another way this app motivates students is by giving them quests. You can find this page under this icon, which is in the top right corner of the main menu. Each quest gives them a new achievement that they can unlock in the different games. The beginning quests are not difficult, but this type of motivation is what really gets some students into learning. Under the same icon where you found the quest page, you can look at your profile. This functions more as a pop-up, but on it you can see all of the information that shows up at the top of your main menu, as well as your active days. Um, you can watch yourself get further up in your level. And more importantly for teachers, you can see how well each person is doing in each different skill. Since I haven't gotten that far in the lessons and in the different games, the only ones I can work on right now are Rapid Recall and Antonyms, because those are the games I've unlocked. If I want to unlock more games and work on these other skills, I have to buy the rest of the lessons. All 25 lessons cost $5, and you can make that purchase in-app. If I was teaching right now, I would consider buying this app for my students. I think it's a great way to study vocabulary. It provides different types of motivation for different types of learners and works on a large variety of skills. It's also just fun. And for that, this app gets a huge gold star from me. And I urge other teachers to look into getting it for their students.